We've established our principles of speed, safety, and sustainability without compromise. And we've begun to pave the path toward a mainstream supersonic future. Today we stand here on the precipice of a new age of travel. And I am so proud to announce, Supersonic is here. What's up guys, so in today's video I want to talk about supersonic travel. Some news recently came out from a company called Boom, which is also tackling the supersonic travel business. And what they released really relates to Virgin Galactic's business. So I'm going to take you through this article and then I'm going to break it down what this means for Virgin Galactic moving forward with their supersonic plane as well. Okay, so Boom is all about supersonic travel, that's what they focused on, and they have a plane called the XB-1 that's supposed to be operational by next year. So let's take a look at what they're saying. So Boom Supersonic has officially unveiled its XB-1 Supersonic Demonstrator aircraft. Now this plane isn't gonna be commercial next year. In fact, this isn't a commercial aircraft. Their commercial aircraft that they're working on is called Overture. So with the XB-1 aircraft, the company plans to begin flying the jet next year as part of work on a larger 55 seat supersonic airliner design known as Overture. So Overture is what we can compare Virgin Galactic's Mach 3 supersonic jet as well. They're both in the same business. So just to be clear, the XB-1 aircraft that's gonna be operational next year, it's not in the commercial industry. Their Overture plane though that they're working on is in the commercial space. And later in the video, I'm gonna talk about Overture when they plan to go in commercial with that and some partnerships they have. And trust me, this really does relate to Virgin Galactic. So this XB-1 plane is slated to fly for the first time in 2021 and will undergo a 100% carbon neutral flight test program. XB-1 is an important milestone towards the development of our commercial airliner Overture, making sustainable supersonic flight mainstream and fostering human connections. So yes, that is why this XB-1 plane is important because it's the first step towards supersonic commercial travel. So any kind of milestone completed is also good with Virgin Galactic. So as investors in Virgin Galactic, we wanna be rooting for this company. The more they can perfect their technology with this, the better chance Virgin Galactic also has with tackling this massive industry. Now, another fact about this company, they have 30 aircrafts on pre-order, and I know this is a separate company, but seeing pre-orders from this company is a good sign for Virgin Galactic because it shows that there is some demand in this space right now. In fact, Virgin Galactic and Boom are actually working together. So you can see down here, Virgin Group has been a major investor in Boom for years now as well. The spaceship company, a Virgin Galactic subsidiary, was previously reported to be preparing to assist in building and testing the airliners. Now I know a lot of investors are super skeptical on the idea of supersonic travel, but seeing articles like this and other companies also trying to get in the supersonic industry should be a little bit reassuring to you. It definitely is for me. And it's nice to see that Virgin Galactic is working with them as well. In fact, it seems like a lot of these companies are actually all working together to solve supersonic travel. On Boom's website, they have a 45 minute video that basically breaks down their business and what they're trying to accomplish. I watched the entire video and they did say that they're actually working with Rolls-Royce as well, as you can see here. Now Rolls-Royce is helping Boom and Virgin Galactic develop the supersonic technology. So it's nice to see all these partnerships working together. And I think it's just becoming more and more realistic that we are going to see commercial supersonic travel at some point in the next decade. So looking at the company Boom, they have their aircraft XB-1 operational next year in 2021, but their commercial airliner Overture is being built in 2022, then it's being rolled out in 2025, and then it's expecting to have commercial passengers in 2029. Now, obviously it's hard to have a perfect timeline when you're looking 10 years out, but this is kind of the same timeline that I think we can expect with Virgin Galactic. So if you're a serious investor about Virgin Galactic, the company Boom is probably something you wanna be following 
because when they give updates on how supersonic travel is going, that also relates to Virgin Galactic as well. And you know, at first, when I was looking at Virgin Galactic, I was just looking at it as a space tourism business. And if the supersonic travel happens, well, it happens, but I'm not betting on it. But the more I'm researching Boom and looking into this, the more I'm starting to realize that I actually think this is going to be something that for sure happens. And I don't think the costs are actually gonna be that bad when developing these aircrafts. And my reason for that is 3D printing. So the company Stratasys, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but they're a 3D company. Arc, Arc Invest is also investing in them. But the reason why I'm mentioning Stratasys is that during this 45 minute video on Boom's website, I saw in the background a massive 3D printing machine that Boom is using to develop certain parts of the supersonic aircraft. And this is helping them develop this aircraft at a fraction of the cost. So clearly Virgin Galactic is also gonna implement 3D printing to save them massive amount of cost as well. So this video was to give you guys an update on supersonic travel because really Virgin Galactic hasn't told us much at all about it other than Virgin Galactic just releasing the Mach 3 aircraft design. Nothing really else has been talked about it and there hasn't been any updates since August 3rd when they released that. So if you were an investor wondering what's going on with that, and Virgin Galactic isn't giving frequent updates, I suggest you guys look at Boom and see how they're going because it will relate to Virgin Galactic's success in this side of the business as well. But I also want to mention, I have seen some YouTube videos of how people are talking about supersonic travel by 2023. I really suggest not getting your hopes up for that soon. If Boom isn't planning commercial travel until 2029, and this is the sole focus on their business, and they're also partnered with Rolls-Royce, the same partnership Virgin Galactic has, then I don't see how Virgin Galactic could do this by 2023. Meanwhile, Boom can't do it by 2029. So this is something that's still very far out, but you never know, maybe there's some breakthroughs in technology in the next few years, and maybe they can get supersonic travel happening before then. But I was always thinking it's gonna be at the soonest 2028 to 2030. And I think as investors, that's where we should have our mind at. If it happens sooner than that, then great, that's a bonus. But I just wouldn't expect that because you'll most likely be disappointed. So yeah, guys, this was a news update on Supersonic Travel. I'm guessing a lot of you probably didn't know of this company. And if you like this kind of video, let me know by dropping a thumbs up on the video and commenting down below. And if you guys are interested in more Supersonic Travel updates in the future, let me know that as well. And yeah, please consider subscribing if you want to see more Virgin Galactic related content. I know this video wasn't directly related to Virgin Galactic, but I do feel seeing an update in the supersonic travel business does relate to Virgin Galactic. This certainly did make me think of Virgin Galactic at least. So yeah, subscribe if you wanna see more content like that and be updated as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks for watching. Till then guys, I'll see you in the next video.